Assalamu alaikum and hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are doing fine. We will continue with module 7 out and about. By the end of this lesson, pupils will be able to understand about pluralization rules and second, pupils will be able to know how to use is and are in the sentences by recognizing singular and plural nouns. This is what we're gonna learn today. First, we will learn about pluralization rules and second, we will learn about the use of is and are. We need to know when to use singular and also plural. Singular is used for one object whereas plural is used for many objects. Let us take a look at the rules of pluralization. So for the first rule, okay, as you can see here, to make regular nouns plural, add S to the end. For example, we have the example, dog becomes dogs. Okay, another examples are duck becomes ducks, goat becomes goats, cow become cows, horse becomes horses, and chicken becomes chickens. For the second rule, if the singular noun ends with O at ES to make it plural. For example, tomato becomes tomatoes. Okay, you add ES. And then potato becomes potatoes. Rule number three. Okay, it's quite long, but don't worry. Let me explain it to you. If the noun ends with F or FE, the F is often changed to VE before adding the S to form the plural version. Untuk perkataan yang berakhir dengan huruf F ataupun FE, F akan ditukar kepada VE sebelum ditambah huruf S. Let us take a look at the first example. Wolf F become VE wolf and then you have to add S at the end so it's come wolf easy right next example we have wife F E change to V E and then we add S so it's become wife wife to Wives. Wives. Now we have come to irregular nouns. For irregular nouns, there is no specific rules. Okay, so how do we know? Macam mana kita nak tahu? There are two methods. For the first one, you have to memorize. Awak perlulah menghafalnya. And second, you can check by using the dictionary. Gunakan kamus. Okay, these are the examples of irregular nouns. Okay, singular de line, plural de pun line. For example, mouse becomes mice. Any special sebab sama. Sheep becomes sheep. Child becomes children. Man becomes men and woman becomes women. So next, we have come to the part 2 where we want to see the use of is and are. First one is singular noun. Singular is used for one object and we will use the word is. Whereas plural is used for many objects and we will use are. 
Let's take a look at the example of is. First picture. Can you see what is that? A dog. There is a dog behind the tree. There is a dog. A show singular object and dog also in a singular form of noun. Okay, and it's located behind the tree. For the next picture, can you try to make the sentence? Very good. There is one cat in the box. One or a can be used to show singular noun. And cat is a singular form of the noun. So the sentence will be there is one cat in the box. Now for a. Let's look at the first picture. Can, can you see what is in the picture? Two dogs. Very good. So the sentence will be there are two dogs in the lake. Okay, we use a and then two because there's one and two ducks in plural form in the lake. Very good. And for the second, okay, we use as here. Okay, second, can you try to make the sentence? These are one, two, three, four, five. Five horses. So the sentence will be there are. Five horses in the stable. We use R and then the number five horses. Okay, we can see the plural form of the noun in the stable. Very okay. So now let us practice. Take out your English module page, page three to four. Okay, and you do it. For example, one duck, two ducks. Okay, for goat, what can you say? A goat and five goats. Very good. And for the second um, activity, write the correct answer. So you have to choose the first, for example, for the first sentence, there. Okay, look here. A duck. So a duck is only singular. Satu. Satu, behind the tree. So the answer will be there is. Okay, please remember jika lau satu kita gunakan is, kalau banyak iaitu lebih daripada satu kita gunakan are. Simple. Okay, that's all for today. All the best everyone and happy learning.